Hey guys, what's going on? We got Jake's Reviews coming at you with a review for Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Scout Class Depth Charge. He's an Autobot and a Stealth Boat, according to his packaging. I don't know if Stealth Boats actually exist in real life, but I'm not going to question it. And he's got some sort of weird sort of snow camo, which is uh, kind of confusing considering he's a boat. Boats don't really need camo, you're going to see them. They're boats. Um, but, uh... He does get big brownie points because he is a boat. That's very unique. You don't see a lot of boat transformers. So once again, he does get brownie points for that, and he's uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, but it's unfortunate that it was such a cool alt mode and really solid, uh, solid looking alt mode, and, and just a cool idea that he didn't get a bigger class toy. I think he really could have done a lot more uh, if he was bigger. For instance, just to give you a little uh, scope of size here, here is a uh, deluxe class Chromia. Put them right next to each other here. Here they are together. So as you can see, really small little guy, uh, and that's that's rather unfortunate. We're gonna set Chromia aside here. She'll be uh, coming in a later review. Um, but yeah, so basically, you know, it's he's pretty, he's pretty tiny uh, and should have been in a bigger class. But still, despite his shortcomings, do oh, 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 I'm a riot. Um, he's a very solid alt mode. He's got um, posable mus uh, muscles. He's got posable muscles. Posable missiles. These little missile pod things here on the back are, are posable, and they're actually rather well detailed. You actually see little individual missiles in there. Um, they are posable, and they're and they're very cool looking. So you can kind of get them in sort of a uh, sort of a firing mode, sort of as if he's passing and just firing at something, which is which is which is a a rather nice little touch. Um, Overall, once again, his alt mode is, is is very cool. His transformation is very simple. It's easy to remember, and it's really hard to get wrong. Uh, it's much much simpler in comparison to um, to his uh, Decepticon counterpart Ransack. Um, but it's still fun. It's not like a bad transformation. You don't you, you don't not have fun because of a uh, because of how simple the transformation is. It's still a really good figure um, in both modes. So to start the transformation, first thing I do is you unpick his hands from the side of his boat here, which is a very easy process, and unfortunately that happens sometimes during, uh, while he's just kind of sitting around and you're just fiddling with him in alt mode, his, his hands will come untabbed. Um, get the camera up here. Uh, the next thing you do is you split this whole bottom piece, basically right down the middle, you can see the split already, and you just kind of pull it apart, like so. Um, and then fold his knees down, like that, and swing his waist around. I'll bring the camera up one more time. Um, fold these little pieces in till they're about till they're uh, to there. Those look like feet, but they're actually not. You uh, these just that looks like a foot sort of, but you actually do fold it in. And it does actually become more of a solid, um, sturdy surface. So basically, his lower body is done, and he's about to be done completely. Um, take his arms and fold him, fold them down like so. Rotate his arms the right direction, and if you like, you can rotate his cannons forward. I usually keep them to the side because they look much more sort of admiralish and uh, and rather cool. But uh, there you have Revenge of the Fallen Depth Charge in robot mode. And his robot mode is very brawny looking, uh, very cool and tough sort of, oh geez, yeah, these shoulder panels, they're only little friction uh, little friction uh, pegs here, as you can see, and they're very tiny uh, pegs and they, they come off a lot, unfortunately. Um, uh, just, it's kind of a deterrent to the whole mood of the toy if his shoulders keep popping off. Um, but it's not that much of a problem as long as you're gentle. It won't. It won't really happen that much. Uh, like I said, very brawny, very strong-looking sort of toy. But once again, very tiny. For instance, here he is in comparison to Voyager Megatron. That's Voyager Megatron. He doesn't even come up to his crotch. Uh, it's it's rather unfortunate. That's how big he is in comparison to Voyager Megatron. He can just punch him in the groin, uh, just barely. So that's. Uh, rather unfortunate. Voyager Megatron is also coming in a later review. Um, so once again, size is a recurring problem in this uh, in this whole thing. His articulation is good. Um, uh, his arms are they have swivels here, and they're on ball joints, so they do rotate around. They'll do whatever you want, basically. Uh, he has double jointed elbows, ball jointed hips. Uh, his articulation is good, but it's made weird by these big boat feet. Um, he has kind of weird joints in there, so you can do all kinds of crazy things with them, but it makes for a very weird articulation. He does have knees, 
Although he can't use them very well, considering uh, the uh, actual pieces of his of his boat that, that do make his legs, you wish that it was broken up. You wish that there was more than one piece there, which would have happened if he was a bigger size class. Um, his head, as I think on a restricted ball joint, very restricted, can rotate. Um, got a very cool head sculpt, by the way. I don't know if you can see that there. Very, very cool head sculpt. Uh, very nice detail on the whole figure. Uh, robot mode and, and alt mode, very nice. Um, he has posable thumbs. Uh, Darwin has smiled upon Death Charge, um, and that's just kind of an interesting touch. Uh, they do go both ways, which is very kind of odd. Um, I don't think that it's necessary to have posable thumbs, but it was nice just to have, although I would have rather have had, like, you know, knees or something. That would have been nice. But um, he's got a, a battle mode, which is kind of dumb, as are most third modes. Um, and basically what you do is, uh, the only thing you do is you rotate these feet down, like so, and then you rotate his waist around and get him all sort of set up here so that his his boat feet are uh, kind of all running along the ground here. There's kind of a, it's kind of, oh, there we go, there we go. Yeah, basically that is his battle mode, and it doesn't stay together well, um, just considering how it's kind of slippery, but it reminds me of skis. Like he's skiing, which is rather interesting. So I suppose it's not all bad, but it's kind of pointless, kind of dumb. Um, he also has a canoe mode, uh, which is not official, but it damn well should be because it's awesome. Uh, and what you do for that is you basically just get his legs all uh, all lined back up, peg them together, like so. Actually, you should fold out these pieces first. Uh, peg them together. And basically let Depth Charge sit down, and he will sit and have sort of a canoe body. Um, I've seen pictures of this, and it's not an official mode, but it should be. Um, I think it's rather cool. Uh, overall, Depth Charge is a uh, very good, very solid scout, um, but only a scout. He should have been a bigger class, and it's rather unfortunate that he wouldn't. There could have been so many cool things done with this toy, considering his character... Um, or what you gather from his box, uh, at least, and also his alt mode, and how big he really would have been, uh, would have been a very cool force uh, for the Autobots to have. But unfortunately, he's not a bigger class size, so I guess we can't really uh, we can't really complain. But hopefully, maybe maybe they'll release him in a bigger size. A man can dream. So this has been Jake's reviews coming at your review for Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen. D oh, Deluxe class, no Scout class, Depth Charge. Thanks for watching, guys.